Uh, shall we move on to the main event? Yeah, yeah. You wanna you wanna find out about uh, your Phelps line? Yeah, I think so. I think might. Uh, yeah, I think so. All Let's right, jump cool. into it. So yeah, so I guess uh, go ahead and pull up that PowerPoint and do. I'm the, looking uh, for something good. I'm looking for something good because he's gonna get the been, truth. It's been, gonna be some interesting stuff. I didn't I didn't do any of the really crazy stuff yet because I wanted to wait until the actual program I'm gonna do because it's, it's gonna be a new uh, a new series I'm gonna have on the YouTube channel. Oh, before which before we yeah. get into this, I just want to praise you on some of the videos. Like I watched. Um, the vlogs that you recently did and they're really coming along pretty good and then some of the stuff that you're also sharing um like i watched the uh the video about how your life is like a video game or yeah. something like that like you share it like it's yeah. like a simulator oh man that was so yeah. good that was so true yeah that was so good i don't know who that guy is i don't know if you're friends with him or whatever but. no no casually explained is the youtube channel that you're talking about and that it's a hilarious channel it's just so funny he also has another one uh that's casually explained is she into you <laughs> and like i've seen that one yeah that's, that's that's like the biggest the most famous one so, that's a good one yeah that's a good one but yeah if if you guys do want to check out my channel i'm genie vlogger so you can g-e-n-e-a-v-l-o-g-g-e-r yeah. we'll definitely so, link it in the in the video afterwards yeah. so give you some shout outs and stuff like that make Sweet. sure you follow them and if you like what you're seeing here obviously you can uh you can check him out <laughs> excuse me and you can also um get him to help you out figure out yeah. trace your family yeah all yeah. that good stuff so. I'm, a, I'm a professional genealogist so people can hire me i've got multiple clients i've got uh i've got a student that's uh, gonna have me come and tutor her how to use different websites in november so nice and i'm also gonna be doing some uh, presentations in uh, november 5th i'll be presenting um actually a guide on using genie.com at the triangle jewish genealogical society sweet so, th so. this is like a sample of what you'll get from Jarrett, and um, I just have to say, I'm gonna also grade your PowerPoint at the end. <laughs> <laughs> I should say, you, you should I'm have gonna like tell a, you, a, this a, is this is so simple of a PowerPoint. I literally threw this together at like 11:30 last night because I was yeah, like, you how should it. I, I present like, oh, shit, this to okay. him? Because at first I was like, oh yeah, I'll just show him all this stuff, and then I was like, wait, how am I gonna show it to him? I'm not gonna just hold it up on my phone. It's yeah. gonna be live streaming on the podcast. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, so. It, are are people looking at this yet, Jordan? Not yet. Not yet. Go ahead and put it up there real quick. All right, so this is this is the uh, PowerPoint that Jared put together. So oh, just did you do any uh, like slides or anything, you know, like uh, transitions? No, 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 no. That's all just it's so all you're gonna get simple. graded on that too. But right here, I feel like there should be like some kind of images or something. You know, like I, you should I put already my face know in the P. I <laughs> already know that I'm probably gonna get like a like a C minus for the PowerPoint Oof, part. That's kind of so, high. All right, all right. So starting out, so here we've got the basic family Phelps tree. Uh, you can see Andrew over there to the left. That's me. And then we've got Allison. Got it, the brothers Matthew, Charles, and Adam James Phelps, which everyone uh, should know. Adam, drummer of Six Shots Later, and then we've got Jordan Michael Phelps, his wife and his child, uh, which. Uh, Jordan has a pretty cool keto channel on YouTube. Check that out. Hey, he's all keto, man. Yeah. All keto. I was watching that today. Uh, then we've got your dad and your mom. And then up top, we've got your grandparents, Benjamin Frank Phelps. Um, some places he's actually listed as Benjamin Franklin Phelps. Yes. And, yes, I, um, yeah. and then his wife, Nancy Jane Phelps, her uh, maiden name is Spruill. Yeah. So, you know, just kind of basic tree. Um, now, if we go to the next slide... Uh, hey, there's one thing I do want to know. Uh, this is the slide that there was going to be a picture of uh, the Phelps brothers, but apparently didn't load. Yeah. Yeah. What's your question, Jordan? Oh wait, go back. You went a little too far. Way too far. Did he what, Jordan? Did he invent electricity? No. He pr not, <laughs> <laughs> probably had his hand in it. Okay. So. Okay. There we go. Okay. So now we've got Benjamin Franklin. Uh, we've got his tree. Uh, so we've got, oh, what are you doing, Jordan? Nothing. Nothing. Did you hit the play button? Did you have? Did oh, he, yeah, he, I think he hit the play button. All right, go back. No, there's no play button. You, there's a play button that your, your cursor's on. My cursor's not even on. All right, restart it. Restart it. Hit, hit escape. I feel like I'm at work right now. <laughs> See, I'm used to when I do presentations with PowerPoint, I usually just have a little clicker. And I'm like, click. Yeah, I got to get one of those because Oh, is it? Yeah. Uh, dun, 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 dun. I don't know. Does that mean the live thing just failed? Uh-oh. I don't know. It's possible. I can't, no, the live's still up. Yeah, 
Oh, okay, we're still here. So you can't click on anything over there, but people just see a white screen. Dude, my computer freaked out this morning. Oh, like, there we oh, go. Oh. All right, cool. Apparently, my very basic PowerPoint is throwing your whole computer off. All right, so that's yeah. the next slide, right? Yeah, that's the next slide. All right, so wait, maximize it and just go to slideshow. Right there, and then do from current slide. Yeah, there we go. And we'll just start from there. Okay, so um, this part, I haven't looked too much into... <laughs> um, that's that's all your aunts and uncles. I mean, that's your dad, and then and, and then that's your your the three uncles you have put in there. I don't know if you have other aunts or uncles on that side because I haven't looked at that. So that I don't know if that's fully up to date. But then you can see your great grandfather Thomas Theodore Phelps mm -hmm. and his wife Leela Ruth Phelps, uh, whose maiden name is Respes. Uh, I don't know if I pronounced that right, but that actually is a pretty big family. Yeah, and uh, I've got a lot of stuff I'll be showing you when I do the official video on that family. Just okay. a little preview. So, but go to the next slide. Just push, just push right yeah. on the keyboard. Again? Yeah. Oh, I'm fuck my computer, man. The PowerPoint, <laughs> the PowerPoint is too powerful. I want everybody here, and I know how to run a PowerPoint. Right here. <laughs> He's, <Yeah>. lying. <laughs> He's lying. All right. So, um, is, is this what the people are seeing right now, Jordan? Oh, there we go. Oh, okay, sweet. Okay, so here we have the 1940 census. You can see Theodore Phelps up top. So that's your great-grandfather, mm -hmm. his wife, Leela. Then their son, Merle. Their son, Frank. So that's your grandfather. Mm -hmm. And then their daughter, Betty. Okay. So this is 1940. So you can see if you look to the right of that, uh, Theodore is the head of the household. Then his wife, sons, daughters. The um, next line over where you see the M, the F, that's male, female. The W stands for white. And if you actually look. Quick question. Uh, uh, now, like, say um, say you're doing one of these census now. Is there, can you put a T in that? The census is now are completely different. Oh, yeah? Yeah, completely different. But what's really interesting, uh, think of this. This is 1940. This is North Carolina. Mm -hmm. Take a look over the W on Theodore Phelps. What do you see above that? Uh, yeah, is that? Yeah, what do you think that stands for? Um, oh, oh, is that um color? Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 I mean, it stands for Negro. Yeah. Um, and it, you know, um, it it it's interesting because 1940 North Carolina, your family was next door neighbors, so it it it's it, it's kind of an interesting thing. I don't. Personally, I didn't look more into it yet. I'm going to. Mm -hmm. So Andrew's relatives are banging each other's next door neighbors. They could have been. I know. And they know. very well could have been. Wait, how do we get there? So. How did how do we get to? The... <laughs> so, I mean, yeah. you know, it's what a strange way to keep records. That that makes it look like they're uh, they he's he's a white negro, right? So. That's, that's what that looks like. It means. Okay. Which <laughs> does not make sense. No. At I guess all. so. I mean. Okay. So, but then um. Next to that, you can see how old everyone was. Oh, all right. Boy, uh, so, hold on. We got to keep calling yeah. them out. <laughs> <laughs> all right, back to this one. All right. Um, and, and then um, in the uh, the line where you see M and S, that stands for married, single. If you saw W, it means windowed. And then next to that, that's uh, schooling. So are, um, have they done school? So you can see your great-grandparents – uh, they didn't graduate from school, but if you see the number next to it, the four, the five, the three, the two, mm -hmm. that's uh, that's like the grade of school that they completed, the highest grade of school. Wow. So you can see, you know, your grandfather Frank is in second grade. Yeah. His brother Merle is in third grade. Their little sister hasn't gone to school. And then his parents, your great grandparents, only finished about fourth or fifth grade. That's fucking so, insane. But they're also, your family were farmers in rural north carolina yeah and if you, so if you go to the next slide now <coughs> now we have the world war ii draft record thomas theodore phelps um you can see the uh the guy who wrote it out which it's possible it was your grandfather but i doubt it because if you look at his signature at the bottom right you can see how he wrote in cursive and you know even if it, it was really different from the previous slide yeah so um some interesting things on this one if you notice address that's rfd number one and that stands for like rural roads yeah so that that it 
so we know just from that he's a farmer but then you can also see um you know we've got his birth date october 19th 1911 he was born in washington north carolina we have his wife leela ruth oh he was he was born in roper Right? Yeah. Well, that's well, no, no, his no, that's his okay. address now was I in Roper. It. Yeah. So it's possible he was born in Roper, but being that he just put place of birth as Washington, yeah. maybe he wasn't exactly. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, and then and you can see employer's name, self. So he worked for himself. I did notice did he spell his middle name? He wrong? Did, he didn't spell when when record takers took these records, they didn't always spell everything right. And it's very possible, especially from the way, if you look at the way Theodore is kind of spelt, uh -huh. it looks a little weird. So I get the feeling that as he, the guy was writing it out, he probably wrote it wrong. And then they were like, yeah, whatever. If you notice, so, yeah, hold on, hold on. I see something. Yeah. I see a link. I see a link to Game of Thrones. <laughs> if you take off the T and the E off of Thodor, Hodor. you get Hodor. <laughs> I'm related to Hodor. Yeah, dude. 